Shark Alley lies at the southernmost point of Africa. Abundant with marine and bird life, it's home to thousands of Cape fur seals. These marine mammals are a favorite with great white sharks. The predators trawl these waters in large numbers on the lookout for their next meal. Shark Alley is also famous as one of the world's top commercial cage diving destinations. The tourism brings in revenue and also helps support scientific research of the sharks. The white shark cage diving industry here in Hans Bay has been operating for a number of years. Many of these boats are collecting daily observational data. Now to uh, better protect an animal we first have to know something about it. So we can't hope to push legislations at high levels if we don't have that knowledge to, to first investigate. Sharks of all species are in need of protection. Almost 100 million are killed each year, too many for the populations to recover. And some sharks are targeted simply because they're perceived as dangerous. But that's an unjustified prejudice. Sharks rarely view humans as prey. Wow, good shark, good shark. There are only around five shark attacks a year in South Africa. Cage diving operators use bait to attract the sharks to the cages. It's a once-in-a-lifetime thrill for the tourists. Just their size, their, their, uh, the mystique that uh, surrounds them. Um, you know, I don't live near an ocean, and so uh, the only experience that I have with sharks is what I see on TV and uh, in movies, and uh, seeing them firsthand is... Yeah, I don't think he can compare to anything else, yeah, it's pretty amazing. Recent studies indicate there may be only a few thousand of the iconic great white sharks left in the world. Back on land, Kelly Baker analyzes the latest data with her colleague. Like a fingerprint, each shark has a uniquely shaped back fin. The scientists are interested in the animal's migratory behavior. Sharks, there's over 500 species, and they are ultimately incredible. They just continue to fascinate, and particularly for me, the great white shark, it's kind of the ultimate, iconic, charismatic, awe-inspiring species, but yet we still have no idea where it breeds and where it mates, despite the amount of telemetric focus it has on it. Understanding where and when the sharks reproduce is vital for their conservation. Great whites are especially slow to produce offspring, as females need around 30 years to reach sexual maturity and can only mate 10 or 15 times in their lifetime, which is very infrequent for fish species. Long-term conservation success will require a change in the perception of the animals. In nearby Cape Town, the Save Our Seas Foundation invests in shark education. The aim is to introduce school children to the marine environment from an early age. Kids, they only know that um, sharks are dangerous, sharks are eating people. So here we're trying to change their minds, we're trying to teach them to know that sharks are not dangerous as they think. Sharks are useful to us people because they keep our oceans in balance, they clean our oceans. The message of Save Our Seas is clear. Sharks, like humans, rely on healthy oceans to survive. So we need to learn to live with the sea and its inhabitants, not against them. In Shark Alley, marine biologist Kelly Baker is back on the tourist boat. Here, sharks are already celebrated stars. We've looked at for, for so many years, um, we still know so little about it. So what I would like to do, um, or what I hope that we can do, uh, is to, to further our knowledge on this animal, uh, in turn then lead to, to perhaps a, a better idea of exactly how vulnerable this species is and, and what we can do to better protect it. There's plenty of research still to be done. 
Besides the charismatic great white, 100 other shark species can be found in the waters of South Africa.